Welcome once again to Isifedu blog. In this particular video, we'll be treating wedge. So this is not a common machine, but uh, we are going to treat it. It's very, very easy. Just pay attention and you're going to understand. Now, always remember, please remember to subscribe, share, remember to subscribe, share. Okay. Now, what we have here is wedge. It's not a type of wedge you know. Now, by definition, wedge is used to separate bodies. So any device, any machine you use to separate bodies, which are held together by large forces. Any device you know, you use to separate bodies. Body that is already held together, if you can separate it into so many pieces, you call it what? Wedge. Examples, we have chisels, axes, knives, and so on and so forth. So, now this is a schematic diagram of what a wedge is. It have, must have a pointed point where you use a, to separate that is very sharp and other um, places. Now, from here to this point, remember, velocity ratio means distance moved by effort over the distance moved by load. Now, what we have here is distance moved by effort is length of the wedge. If you keep a wood and you want to split it with an axe, or let's say a tomato, you want to cut a tomato with a knife, the distance your efforts will go before you be filled with what you have cut depends on the length of that particular wood, that particular tomato. So the effort, the distance the effort will cover depends on the length. So the length of the tomato will be equivalent to the length of that particular word, knife, for you to get satisfied. So we have that the distance covered or moved by effort is the length. The length of the wedge divided by the thickness. The thickness, be very, very careful with this. Don't turn it the other way around. We have the length of the wedge from here to here divided by the thickness of the wedge. Another question that you can be asked is based on the function of the angle here. So this theta here, they can ask you, if you watch, if the theta is becoming smaller, that means this becomes thinner. And the thinner it is, the sharper it will be. That is the efficiency will increase, which means the mechanical advantage will increase. So they normally ask you this in your exam. Be very careful. When theta gets smaller, what happens? So when theta gets smaller, the mechanical advantage increases. The thing functions better. So you can also, another way they can ask you this is by telling you a thin long wage and a thick short wage. So a thin long wage has a higher mechanical advantage than a thick short wage. Please note this, very important. A thin long wedge, by, in reality, by actual sense, you are supposed to know. So when something is sharper, when it is pointed and slim, it penetrates faster. So the mechanical advantage is higher than something that is large, that the surface area is what? Large. So note this, very, very important. So for the calculation aspect of this, visit your exercise section and your past question section. You will see a lot of questions covering this, this particular subtopic.